Revelations that have emerged in the past few months from whistleblower Edward Snowden and others have painted a disturbing picture of widespread suspicionless surveillance of American citizens. We got a wake-up call just recently. NSA snooping includes the interception and collection of call detail records and internet traffic. Including audio, video, photographs, documents, chat logs, and emails. Every American is at risk for getting caught up in the NSA dragnet. Including average citizens not suspected of a crime. We have also learned of the large-scale collaboration with telecom giants, internet companies, and service providers. Some concerned email providers have chosen to shut their doors rather than cave to government subpoenas to hand over their users' data. We've been misled. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. We've seen this story before. We've had too much secrecy in this country. It has corrupted the government. And we decided it was wrong. It was wrong then, and it's wrong now. This is a fearful situation. The American people, one of the, the basic rights is the right to privacy. Unrestrained, illegal, secret intimidation and harassment of the essential ability of Americans to participate freely in American political life shall never happen again. Nixon's crimes predated widespread internet use by decades. The tools for surveillance have never been more powerful, and the threat to our civil liberties has never been greater. Edward Snowden was not the first. I represent six NSA whistleblowers who are being charged with espionage for telling the truth. We truly, as a nation, are at a crossroads. I became aware that was sweeping up everybody's data indiscriminately. What I was eyewitness to was the subversion of the Constitution. And that's, that was when the hair on the back of my neck went up. And so I became a whistleblower. This is our information. This is our information. This is our information. This is our information. It is the digital archive of our lives. Texts of our chats with our family. It's the backbone of everything that we care for, our humanitarian causes and things that we fight for. It is everything you use the internet for. History tells us we need to watch the watchers. And in a surveillance state, democracy itself is dead. It makes a mockery of our system of government, which is based on the notion of independent branches of government, including a fourth estate, the press. A free society should not have secret laws. It doesn't have to present this false trade-off between security or privacy. We need to bring NSA activity from the shadows into the light of day. We need to end mass, suspicionless surveillance.